This is my eighth time coming to Iran, and I have to say, uh, going to this country and reporting from here and also traveling within Iran, it always is a, a very exhilarating, a very exciting, and also a very rewarding experience as well. But when you come here uh, and you meet regular folks, you see the hustle and bustle, for instance, uh, of the main bazaar here in Tehran, you'll find that the people here are very, very welcoming towards foreigners and very happy, really, to see people from other countries. And I think one of the things that not many people know about this country is that it does have a very sophisticated civil society. The education level here in this country is very high. There's a lot of people who speak multiple languages. This country is a theocracy. It's run by a religious leadership that's very, very powerful. And so there's big questions about how much religion should impede on normal people's lives here. Are women allowed to go into soccer stadiums? At what point or at what age should girls start wearing the headscarf? It certainly is a country that has a lot of divisions as well, and it also has a pretty fierce political dialogue between the moderates and the conservatives. And one of the things that you see is that while a lot of people are not happy with the fact that this country has all these issues with the West, especially with the United States, they do value Iran's independence. And then finally, I believe that Iran, aside from maybe Italy, probably has the best food in the world. And that's certainly something that we get a lot of every time we come here.